Hey everyone, Happy New Year. Today I thought I would go over some of my favorite gear that I used for the first time in 2022. I realized that this video probably should have come out New Year's Eve. <laughs> Whatever. Here we are. We're going to go for it. Some of the gear on this list has dedicated videos on my channel already. Some of it uh, will get a dedicated video very shortly, and some of it, it probably won't get a dedicated video, but it was still one of my favorite things that I've used this year. There are links down below for every single thing that I talk about in this video. Those links go to Sweetwater. Sweetwater is sponsoring this video. So if you want to see prices, availability, any additional specs for anything that I talk about in this video, check out the links in the description below. First item up on the list is the Lawton Audio. I hope I'm saying that right. Atlantis, what's the model number? FC387. Now I've only had this microphone for a handful of weeks. However, in those handful of weeks, it has actually won microphone shootouts in like five out of six vocal sessions that I've had. I'm really blown away by this microphone and how versatile it is and how it has beat all my other microphones since I got it in almost every session. Some highlights, 38 millimeter cap capsule, gigantic, gigantic capsule, a character switch on the back that is forward, neutral, or gentle, that is a really effective switch and doesn't feel fake. It feels like three different microphones. Figure eight, cardioid, omni pickup patterns. It is still new to me, brand new to me, and so I plan on putting it through its paces a whole lot more before it gets a video or before I decide what, what's gonna happen with it, but I had to mention it because it's incredible, and also it's on sale right now. I just looked it up on Sweetwater, it's on sale for $1,499. It is a shockingly good microphone for that price and uh, has become my new middle tier recommendation. I used to recommend another microphone in that like $1,500 range. This is hands down the best bang for buck. Uh, that I personally have ever used. Link down below. Now I also have to give a shout out to the Manly Reference Cartier because for the duration of 2022, for almost all of 2022, this was my go-to microphone. It beat out almost every other microphone for most of the year before I got the Lawton Audio. It's been used on a million hits and I, and I realized why after I got mine. Uh, it sounds great on a huge range of people. It sounds like a 47 with like the upper mid-range push of a 47 but with the airy, sizzly top end of like a C12. So it sounds very finished, uh, just incredible microphone. I have to throw it on this list because for the majority of 2020, it was one of my very top picks for a microphone. While we're talking about microphones, let's talk about these microphone stands. Uh, I think these are incredible stands, super heavy duty, on wheels, hold tons of weight, they go super tall, uh, tons of flexibility. Yes, they are kind of expensive for a microphone stand, but they're actually one of the most affordable options when it comes to these heavy duty weighted with counterweight sta microphone stands. I think these are incredible, link down below. Next on the list, the Universal Audio Volt 2 interface. Now this has been the interface that I've used over on my video editing station since I got it. And here's a couple things that I like about it. One, super small, portable, great travel option. Also a great travel option because it's bus powered. You just plug it in via USB to your computer and it powers the whole thing. You don't need a power adapter and that's awesome. It's small and lightweight. It is a two channel interface. The preamps sound good. Uh, it has monitor outputs with a large monitor volume control, which is awesome. And it also has a headphone out with a headphone volume control. And that is just a perfect interface for what I need for my video editing station. And I do take it on the road with me sometimes when I'm editing videos on the road. Love it, can't say enough good things about it. Really good bang for buck, great interface. Now while we're over here on the video editing side of things, uh, I've been using these IK Multimedia iLoud monitors for the better part of 2022. They fit on this video desk perfectly. I think they're a really good option for a small monitor if your desk space is really limited or if you need something ultra compact. They come with a carrying case, so they're great to travel with if you need to take monitors to a hotel with you or something. Uh, they have some room correction software and they come with measurement microphones. I have not used that or tested that out yet, but I think these sound really good, especially for the size and for the money, uh, and they are probably the best option if you have 
a very limited amount of desk space. I've been mixing every video that I've put out since I got these on those monitors, so great job. Next up, the Moog Subsequent 37. Now, I do have a video on this, and like I said in that video, this is the perfect analog synthesizer for me. I'm absolutely in love with this thing. I love everything about it. It's a full analog synthesizer, but with full digital control, so it's the best of both worlds. You get that thick, rich, gooey analog synthesizer sound, but with the benefits of being able to record MIDI via USB, to save additional presets in the online controller, in the, the digital plug-in controller, uh, to, to fur further dial in settings. I just, I love everything about this. It's super fast and easy to dial in. Great sounds on the keyboard itself. I love everything about this. I can't say enough good things. Link in the description. The Mac Studio computer that has been my main studio computer, the Mac Studio Studio computer. This has been such a welcome change for me personally here in this room. It's more than powerful enough for any music production you could possibly ever need to use it for. I don't even think about running out of CPU no matter what I'm doing mixing wise. I think it's a great bang for buck in terms of how much horsepower it has for the money. It's a great form factor and size. It fits on a shelf well, it stays out of the way. It is an absolute beast for video editing. Like, I mean, it's a beast for video editing. I'm actually currently running both the music's part of the studio and the video production part of the studio off of this one computer with two monitors, two keyboards, two mouse, mice, mouses, mice, mice, yes, mice, two mice. <laughs> and the fact that it has enough IO to do that and is powerful enough to do all that, it's just, it's been such a welcome addition and I can't highly recommend it enough. Next up, the SPL Big. I have a full dedicated video on this. It's basically a stereo widener with some special tricks up its sleeve. I've never seen, maybe it exists, but I've never seen another plug-in or piece of hardware that does exactly what this thing does. And it has been on every mix that I've done since the day that I got it. I can't say enough good things about it. It's incredible. The way that it widens the sound, the way that you can choose the frequencies that it widens, just unbelievable mix bus, or you don't even gotta use it on your mix bus. You could use it on any stereo thing in your mix. Love it, can't say enough good things about it. Next up, the Tascam Porta-Capture X8. Now, I haven't actually used this to record any music with. However, it is a great field recorder with a stereo XY pattern uh, setup of microphones built right on it. It has uh, four additional XLR TRS combo input jacks. So you have tons of inputs on it to record a bunch of different things simultaneously. It is battery powered off of four AA batteries, or you can power it via USB-C. And the thing that I use it most commonly for is for a pass through into my camera. So my Sennheiser 416 microphone that you're hearing right now goes into the Tascam, and then there's a camera output of the Tascam that goes right into the microphone input of the camera. So I never have to sync audio. I can use a really high quality uh, shotgun microphone, an XLR microphone, and I it goes straight into the camera. I never have to sync the audio with the video for these, which really speeds up my workflow. It's all touch screen. It's really reminiscent of like a cell phone, like it's a smartphone. It's super easy to operate. Gone are the days of the super clunky interfaces on hard disk recorders. This thing is awesome. Link down below. Now, while we're talking audio for video, uh, the Sennheiser MKE 400 on-camera microphone has become my very favorite on-camera microphone. Some things that I like about it. It's small form factor, it's pretty compact. Uh, it is still a shotgun microphone, so lots of isolation. It sounds absolutely fantastic, especially for its size. Uh, it's powered by two AAA batteries. It has a 300 hour runtime, and it automatically turns on and off when you turn your camera on and off. So you get ready to film something, you turn the camera on, it automatically triggers the microphone, turns the microphone on. You just never have to think about it. You're done filming, you turn the camera off, it automatically turns the microphone off so you don't burn through your battery life. Uh, it has an internal shock mount, so it's not flopping around and wobbly on top of the camera. It feels very rigid, but inside, it is shock mounted inside there. Uh, just 
absolutely amazing on-camera microphone. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Link down below. The Audioscape 260VU. Finally, someone made a version of the old original DBX160VU. Uh, and That's a really famous compressor. They have gone absolutely crazy in price on the used market. The vintage ones are worth a fortune now, uh, but they're absolutely incredible. I've used plug-in versions of this on every single mix forever. And I'm really, really pumped to have a stereo hardware version version in my room now. It sounds absolutely incredible. It has all of that classic smack that the, the DBX160 had. It just sounds incredible. It looks really well done. They did a great job getting the right knobs and face plates and meters. Kudos Audioscape for this. There will be a video coming on this soon. And honorable mention, the Audioscape Reverb. The spring reverb is just, I have a whole video on it. Mind-blowing reverb. Analog's 12 spring reverb. Can't say enough good things about it. Those guys are crushing it over there. Links down below. The Gibson Songwriter Standard Rosewood Acoustic Guitar that I picked up back in March. I think this is one of the most overlooked models from Gibson. Personally, I think it's the best acoustic guitar that Gibson makes at the moment. It's the best sounding. It's the best playing. I know this is all extraordinarily subjective, but it is by far my favorite thing Gibson is doing at the moment. Sounds incredible, plays incredible, looks incredible incredible. This guitar made it onto about 50 songs that I produced this year alone. Love this guitar. Can't get enough of it. Next up, the Focal Batisse. I've been saying Bathies since I got them, but apparently it's Batisse. These Focal headphones are active noise canceling Bluetooth headphones. There is a video coming where I'm comparing them to the Apple AirPod Maxes. I get pretty nerdy about this kind of stuff and I love these kind of comparisons, but spoiler alert, these have got to be one of, if not the best sounding Bluetooth headphones with noise canceling on the market. They are not inexpensive, but they are incredible sounding for Bluetooth headphones. The noise canceling is fantastic. They're incredibly comfortable and well-made. They look amazing, way better looking than the Apples. <laughs> That's totally subjective. It has a fantastic app where you can change the sound characteristics. Of, I just, I can't say enough good things about these. Home run for Focal. Not that I expected anything less, but it's their first venture into Bluetooth headphones video coming soon. And I actually already have a full review of the Apple AirPod Max over on the tech channel. There's a link down below to my tech YouTube channel where I talk more about computers and cell phones and headphones and this sort of stuff that's not su camera gear, that's not super uh, audio music production focused. So go check that out if you're into that kind of stuff. Next up, the Sound Anchor monitors. I have a whole video that just came out on these. In my opinion, they look great. They're the best looking monitor stands out there. They sound fantastic. The sonic difference is real and you really have to hear it to believe it. Because yes, there is a very real audible difference. What these monitors sound like in this room with the sound anchors on the ISO acoustics pucks is just, it's just way better than they used to sound in here. It's just better. They are incredibly sturdy. Like you could set a small car on these monitor stands and I would hope so because they're some of the most expensive out there. But the price is definitely warranted. And they saw my video the other day about these speaker stands and I, I didn't have the actual hardwood feet for them. Uh, they, I only had the spikes that they come with that are there's like sharp spikes that go into carpet. And they were kind enough to reach out and say, hey, you should really have a pair of these of these hardwood cone solution things. Um, and so they sent some over and I very, very much appreciate that. Not sponsored, they didn't pay me to say any of this. I, they didn't tell me that I had to put this in a video or anything. So we've got the, the cone here, and then these the new feet sit right in there. And then that is supposed to be the hardwood solution. So I'm really looking forward to seeing if these sound any different. They certainly will make me less nervous about screwing up my hardwood floors. Thank you, Sound Anchors, for sending this over. Very much appreciate it. Next up is the Bax 2020 EQ from Pope Audio. Uh, this has become a mainstay on my vocals. I've been using this on just about every vocal uh, since I got it, and it's just a wonderful high and low EQ, really like gentle slopes, really natural sounding. I cannot say enough good things about these, uh, highly recommended. Next up are the new Oratone 5C Active models. Now we actually just gave a pair of these away, but I think these are incredible because the number one question I've been getting for years about Oratone monitors is, 
I don't want a power amp. I don't want to fuss with speaker cables and like extra routing and have to find a place to put my power amp. Why don't they make an active version? And now they do. So the amplifiers are built right into the cabinets. I have a whole video going over them. I think anyone who's into mixing music, you could benefit from having a pair of Oritones. Like truly, I use them on every single song. There are links down below for every single thing in this video. Thank you, Sweetwater, for sponsoring this video. Thank you to all of you who are watching and made it all the way to the end. I hope you guys are ready to absolutely crush 2023. I know I am. I feel like we're going into this this year with just a boatload of momentum. I hope this is the best year ever for each and every one of you. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Hey.